Now a decorative danger, the fuel gel used in fire pots like these is considered so dangerous a local fire department wants you to see why. Tonight a demonstration everyone should watch. Even though many fuel gels used to light these fire pots have actually been recalled, they're still used in homes nationwide, maybe even yours. Susan, Susan Hogan joins us with this alarming warning only on Eyewitness News. These fire pots use an alcohol-based fuel gel like this. It burns so cleanly that it's almost hard to tell if there's a flame at all. And that's exactly the problem. Look closely. It's an extinguished fire pot using fuel gel. Time to relight it, right? Wrong. A flash of fire jumps up and surrounds this firefighter's protected hand. But if this was your hand, you'd get burned. This gel will actually embed itself right into the skin and burn multiple layers of, of your skin, which cause, at a minimum, second degree. Cumberland Hill firefighters in full protective gear show us why fuel gels are considered extremely hazardous. Most gels are made of more than 80% ethanol and burn clear, so clear it's hard to see a flame. Here's what we're talking about. Even though it looks like the flame is out inside this fire pot, the fire department's thermal gun shows something much different. Between 300 and 420 degrees still in the pot. We've discovered the Consumer Product Safety Commission is issuing a warning after more than 65 injuries and two deaths associated with fuel gels. Fuel gel manufacturers say their products are safe as long as they're used correctly. Bottles warn not to refill until flame is extinguished, but if you can't see it, how do you know? Firefighters also demonstrate how extinguishing gel fires isn't easy. The recommended stop, drop, and roll method we're learning may not work when fuel gel is involved. The best way to put the fire out it is it covers and smothers. Baking soda or a fire extinguisher. It's a bomb. It's a bomb in a bottle. New York mom Nancy Mayer keeps vigil at her son's hospital bedside. This photo of 14-year-old Michael Hubbard was taken just before he filled what he thought was an extinguished fire pot with fuel gel. Witnesses say within a split second, a fireball covered his body. Ten fuel gel manufacturers have agreed to recall their fuel gels, and the Consumer Product Safety Commission is investigating whether to ban the product altogether before another life is lost. I just want my child back, that's all. Michael Hubbard remains in a hospital today, six months after he was burned by fuel gel. If you have a fire pot that requires fuel gel, the Consumer Product Safety Commission is asking that you stop using this immediately. I'm Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News. And you can learn more about how to keep your family safe from the decorative danger right now on our website. You'll find a complete list of recalls from the Consumer Product Safety Commission, along with vital information on how you can take action to prevent a tragedy. It's all online right now at WPRI.com.